Snip, 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 snip. Why? <laughs> Hello, guys. Hatred Elemental back once again with Draco Soda's Air. Hello! We were told to get stuff from the shop, so. I have not done any grinding. <clears throat> uh. Actually, that's worth it. I'll get that. I'll get that, because that will help us with getting other things in the shop. See, that was... Tier 3, oh, hey. levels 12 through 9. This is the right spot. Mm -hmm. We are upside down. Oh, ice physics. Oh, that's what it is. Whew. I'm confused. Are we falling or rising upwards here? That's a really good question. Whoa! The big drop is really intense! Just looking at the bottom from here gives me vertigo. So, okay. Um... Yo, oh, God! Hmm. Well, that explains why... Now we have a reason as to why this has Gravity Man's theme. <laughs> We're looking for level 12. Mick, uh, Mitch, uh, Wily Mitch, uh, Combo! Let's go. Pressing down now. I remember this one. Uh, oh, yeah. Walk the Invisible. Such a good song. Na, 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 na. There we go. Ow. I definitely chose the wrong path there. Flying one ons. Pippies, because yes. Na, 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 na. This part of the level gave Rome Mithril so much trouble. But with Mag Mammal 1 remastered, we no longer have to worry about Rush Jet Jank. Yeah. Oh, uh, this part. From Wily 1 of Mega Man 1. Slide jumps for the win. Damn it. Okay. Ah! Whoa! Oh, that's the Genesis color palette! Yeah! That's. It's nice to see you, Wily Wars! That's subtle, but really nice. Yeah! Those are the freaking Genesis colors, man! That's amazing, man! Oh. Right. Well. Yeah. This brings up a question. Yeah? Why weren't- why wasn't there a Yoku Block section in this part in the original stage? There's no guarantee you were going to be able to get the magnet beam if you even knew what it was. Oh, yeah. So there you were just lost and oh god, we've got that. Come on. There we go. Also, there's one Yoku block that's completely redundant. Nice call back to Mega Man 9. Yep. Uh, sort of a boss? Not really? I don't know if there were bosses in the dev kit, but watch me be wrong. I think there were, like, a couple. Wouldn't it be funny if the text was upside down, too? We wouldn't be able to read. <laughs> it looked great. It had great music. The idea behind it was great. Overall, a very solid level. 
Some of the sections, though, were more difficult than they probably should have been due to mechanical differences of the engine, such as the rush jet section. Some of the redesigns were neat, though. I especially like the redesign of the magnet beam room. Sorry, but I believe with at least most of my heart that there are much better stages to lovingly recreate than Mega Man 1 Wily 1. Hey. That room with the fire bar jumps just isn't fun at all. At least Rush fits down in there now. Well, aside from that, the graphics really didn't work well. I found it hard to tell real walls from background walls in certain areas, and consider myself lucky to be so familiar with the sources already. I did not have that problem. I would order a Wily combo from Wendy's. To <sighs> Well, this definitely felt like a Wily stage. The first time I tackled this level, I was not in top form, so I died a lot and just got generally really frustrated. Second time, though, I absolutely aced this place. Really not a bad level, but it takes some getting used to, for sure. Docking graphics a little, though, since I found myself having to strain my eyes to play the stage when I first entered it. Contrast could use a bit of a boost. While the idea of a Wily mashup was interesting, it seems that the design aspects each Wily stage has had was forgotten in an attempt to reap nostalgia points. Forced weapon usage was kept, but clever enemy-based challenges were removed. The boss room was also a huge cock block. The boss corridor has no background, and the room layout is almost identical to the Mega Man 1 Yellow Devil room, only for a snakey to be waiting at the room. Seems a bit cruel. It's but trivia time! Oh. Can get info. Dubio's judge comment for this entire I would order a Wily combo from Wendy's later this entry, I would order a Wily combo from Wendy's, later became the inspiration for the McWily's tier in Mac Level 2! Nice! <laughs> no, no, no. No, uh... Dude, this is so weird. They kicked me out of my summer home just so they could expand it for some part of the festival here. I swear, real estate these days. <laughs> Wait. Eleventh. Napalm Forest and Caves. Ah, uh, by Thoron. Let's go. Another Napalm Man level. They're pretty popular, aren't they? Yep. Ow, first hit. You aced that first part, though. Yep. Ow. Decision. Let's go this way. Music seems a little quiet. Yeah. Oh, those enemies are annoying. That's fun. I like this challenge, though. Okay. Oh, I didn't even see you there. I probably could have used that health. Okay, I want to see what- Wait, Raise this eye! I think I remember, that's just a shortcut. There's a missing tile up there. This really should be animated. Yeah, it should. And I really should be better at those jumps. So I guess it wasn't a shortcut. ROAR! I just realized I totally missed an opportunity to make a Good Morning Vietnam joke. You made that in Napalm Man's actual stage during the playthrough, so... Well, can't get that now. Hey, can I help it if I like Robin Williams? No. Hmm. This could be a problem. Back. 
The extra bolts are nice. Money well, I'll never turn down shinies. Money well spent, IMO. Bah. There we go, slide jump for the win. Yeah, it's really confusing because the physics are still there, but the animation isn't. Yeah. You think we would make good Mac Mammal stage uh, judges? Oh! Frick. I don't know. Screw you, Joe. I was just facing the entirely wrong direction there. Bad kitty. Didn't even do anything. Sad kitty. What was a tiger doing in a cave? I don't know. Yeah, gimme. Gimme. Those tiles right there are surface tiles, and in theory they should also be down here. And on the grounds, but they're and just on all the ground, but I've noticed that tiles are kinda misused a little bit. It's subtle and overall not crap. Not too big of a problem, but Got distracted by critique. Got distracted with critiquing the level. Yep. Failed to play the level. Yes. Well, you asked if we would make good judges. I focus on the really small and overall not really important things. I don't think you would be too popular a judge. Probably not. And people would hate you. <laughs> I'd be like G1 Simon Cowell on America's Got Talent. Oh God. Classic or Piers, Cowell. Or Piers Morgan. Scary. <laughs> Nothing short of absolute perfection, otherwise it is not worth your time. Well... Like, I, I talked about it, and I did do it, but I talked about it a lot. It's no secret that I made a stage for Mag Mammal 3, and I'm not like, 100% proud of it, so I have some leniency and I recognize my own faults, but a lot of hard work went into that stage, I was there for most of the development process, it's way better than anything I could ever come up with, I think it's good, yeah, but in Mag Mammal 4 I'm definitely going to go, if there is one, I'm definitely going to go for a different approach. Yeah, that was a very ambitious idea you had. Yep. But hey, my concept wasn't any less crazy. Mine was one of those game inside a game levels. Yeah. I'm actually kind of glad I didn't go through with it. Well, in all honesty, I never put... <laughs> I never actually finished your tile set. So... <laughs> yeah, I still feel kind of bad that you had to work on the tile set. I have zero confidence in my artistic skills. And you think I do? Oh, we're doing that now, are we? This would be a really bad time to do this, creator. Um... That enemy is super effective. Where did you come from? Oh, that slide, though. Okay, that one's real, what the heck? Are there missing hitboxes? Probably. Okay, I've got to remember how these work. Because I remember in the streams, I totally messed that up. And there's a power mass lure there. Back. Yeah, I remember. Oh, this stage. Oh, this stage. Oh. I know that voice. Just how long has it been? Again, we're talking about something completely off-topic. Reminds me of Monty Python. And now for something completely different. Like a death! Not entirely different. True. Okay, we didn't go too far back. No. Spent such a long time on this one level, man. Well, it's a long level. It's kind of like a... It's a breath of fresh air to have a decently long level instead of a short one, you know? Yeah. Because let's be honest, most of the ones so far have been pretty short. 
Also, yay for Mega Man 2 and up style spikes. And now I'm remembering that the spikes in Mega Man 11 technically have no collision. Wait, what? Yeah, they don't have collision. If you have invincibility frames, you just go right through them. Oh, yeah. That's weird. So, yeah, they kill you, but they don't behave as blocks. We died right at the end, as always. No boss. And the tanks are weirdly misaligned. Yeah? The turrets and the treads. Ah, this. I can see you, um, were inspired by the sample Blyka's engine stage. That being said, though, I think this level did a really good job of making itself feel new. It's nice to see the Plant Man platforms get some love, and I like how you incorporated Plant Man, Bubble Man, and Splash Woman into the stage design. And having alternate paths was super neat. I'm also a fan of the spike drop with falling platforms. It's an interesting take on a spike drop. I think it's in an alternate path we... We didn't take. Yeah. I can't believe I just said that. I like the idea at work here. To explore the area around the stage rather than the one set path. That was pretty cool. A Napalm Man stage was a great choice for it. I'm less enthusiastic about the added content. Maybe it was just me, but the new parts seemed fairly punishing for what was originally a Robot Master stage, both in terms of death spikes and enemy choices. I'm sorry, what did I just play? I forgot immediately after playing. It's an expansion of Napalm Man's level, and actually a rather well-designed one, with a number of interesting paths and multiple routes to pick from. That being said, I still have a few gripes. One of the sets of spikes in the underwater section behind the solar blaze wall down the ladder after the first section was hidden behind complete black for some reason. Also, the level itself runs really, really long, which is probably my biggest gripe with this. There's a definite sweet spot for level length in these games, and this does not hit that sweet spot at all. It's a good level overall, but it's still really long. The parts that weren't just copy-paste Napalm Man were fairly decent, although they occasionally used a few too many enemies. Not much to say about this, really, as it is, for the most part, just a slight rehash of Napalm Man's stage. Menu! This stage was meant to have a boss fight against Napalm Man with a revised pattern, but the idea was cut due to time constraints. The idea would later return in the form of Napalm Man Mark II in Thoron's Mag Mammal II entry, Conveyor Mayhem. Oh. Ugh, I hated that one. Me too. Oh hey, shiny! SHINIES! SHINIES EVERYWHERE! Nice job. Parmesan! Hey! Hard to oh. see land! The only level in the contest that had music specifically created for... Flashman. What you're, are you doing? You're, you're right! You're, you're normal! So this theme was made specifically for it? No, this music was made specifically for this stage. What did I say? No, I, that, that's... That's what I was talking about. This theme was made specifically for this stage. Ah. Yeah. Oh, no. Dummy. I like this. I like the theme. <laughs> It sounds like an, a theme, the theme song for an old plug-and-play joystick game. Bye! Oh hey, the, and these are fixed now, in theory. Uh-huh. Boo! Still super uncomfortable to oh, co- Oh, blah! Mm. Oh, rude! I hate fan fiends. Oh, 
I absolutely despise enemies that mess with player physics. Oh, like the virus effect in Virus Man Stage in Rock Force. That just messes with your controller input. It inverts your controls. True, but... Still my least favorite stage just because of that gimmick. Stuff like, like laboratory stages, though. Stuff like that messes with me. A lot. Hey, at least we know that Fan Fiend is there now. Yeah. Mm. Oh, okay. I know there's absolutely no background to the stage, but I like the style it has. Yeah. I don't know why, but I do. Ow. I will say, though, for a stage that's called Hard to See Land, the terrain is very easy to make out. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, I remember there being some fun puzzles here. Oh, that was super close. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Giving Top Spin some love. It needs it. Uh huh. Draco Sotazer and Hatred Elemental, the Top Man Defenders. Oh, at least they save. I'm writing this down. Not that it would have mattered. Oh! Oh! How did this work in the original game again? deserve to be a better weapon. Okay, that's what I'm doing. Okay. It's such a psychedelic stage. I love it. Yep. Oh. 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 Kind of getting hard to like this stage now. These stages are always longer than I expect them to be. But, you know me, the guy who used to play Kirby. If you pay close attention to the animation on the tops, they're actually really well done. Yeah? You know, now that I think about it, the top spin isn't the only thing from Top Man stage that gets credited here. Yeah? No. The top platforms. Oh. I don't trust that at all.
Yeah, no. <gasps> oh, that was close. That is a butt clenching moment right there. And. Uh huh. Here we go. Bright colors. Oh. Okay, there we go. The vertical drop section was a super section. The vertical top second section was a super neat idea, but thanks to a combination of the jankiness of the vertical scrolling and my programming incompetence with the tops, it became a bit on the A side. The rest of the level was okay. It was just fine in my book, except for the end with the solid colors. Ow, that hurt my eyes. That's why it's called Hard to See Land. I don't really see what's hard to see about this place. Is that the joke? How meta. It's interesting seeing this basically be a pure platforming challenge and an engine that rarely deals in them. Many enemies seemed like an afterthought until I realized that. Makes it hard to judge, but for a different kind of challenge, it was fun enough. I hated this level. Until the second half. What the hell is with the first couple screens, dude? This is a fairly interesting level. You had a definite concept in the level graphics, and the level makes fairly good t use of various platform types. Generally speaking, I can't complain. That being said, the sudden bright colors right at the end of the level is something I'm going to have to dock you for. That was quite hard on the eyes. I prefer needing something being hard to see in terms of squinting, not it's hard to see because it's too freaking bright. I am glad that this level didn't live up to its name, until the boss room, that is. Despite some rather easy to see flaws, like some unfair portions of the level crystal section comes to mind, this level had some neat ideas, including the vertical scrolling section. Fun fact! The music in this level was specifically composed for it by the creator's brother! Alright, now I'm curious, how do we get up to Flash Man? Wait a minute. Gravity Man's down there. Well, up there. Down there? Up there? Down there? Ah! Hmm. Maze oh. of Death. Maze of Death. Hey, your favorite theme. Oof. Oh, I... There, there, there I am. Wait. Wait. No. Bye! In all honesty, I do love this theme. Mm. Eee! No, 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 no! Oh, hi. I wonder, are you anything important? No. Hmm. Just a pointless room, man. It is the maze of death, after all. DEATH BY CURLING! Oh, those are spikes! Nice idea.
Ah! Oh no. Right, you can't fire magic card downwards. Uh Squirts. I'm going to be honest, I do not like this level. Cheats! Is it any surprise why? No. Oh my god. I don't have anything against you, Dubio, but I question your choice. At least the platforms stay dead. <laughs> At least the platforms stay dead. Yes! So that's Sarkadol 2019. Th dead. Well, the, the, the blocks! At least the blocks stay dead! I'm taking care of you guys now. Alright. Take that. Prepare to get sucked into the vastness of space. Don't you dare, you little froggy. Ow! Aww, we ended up avoiding exploding all but one of the mines on our way through. Disappointing. I remember what can take you out. <laughs> For real. <laughs> That'd be an interesting moment for that. I think it would be over too quickly. Yeah. Okay. Man, this <gasps> this room just kills frame rate. Yep. I'm going here. Oh. That would have helped. What? Alright, let's go. Let's do this. Come on. At least they fixed the platforming with a... They're instant kill. Yes, they are. They've always been instant kill. You know, if you want to get to that room quicker, you can just go through the left passage. Can I? Oh. Well, it's called Maze of Death, after all. Okay, is there any reason for this room to exist? No. Well, I'm sorry. It's okay. I've been wrong before. Okay, go here, actually. Go here. Nope. Not yet, at any rate. Ugh. What's your name for those guys? Turbantellies? I don't remember. Ooh. 
Oh, no slide. No slide. Yeah, that was almost a very bad thing. Flip. Oh, screw you, penguin. You heard him. Screw the penguin. Wait. Penguins? They're my worst enemies in Terraria. Also, can I just say... The new Terraria update is gonna be really interesting. Oh, God. Screw you, Paul. Nope, that doesn't work. It was worth a shot. Wait, what? hold on. Wait, 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 wait. We can do a couple of things. Metal blade from there. Nothing else from there. Can I make it all the way up there? Yes, I can! I don't know whose problem that room is, but it's not mine! See what I did there? Yep. Can I get wheel cutter, please? No, 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 no! Can you get her grip? Wait, didn't you get an E-Tank somewhere along the line? Yeah, I have four. But... Oh, wow. So if you need to, you could... In theory. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of this song. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, the freaking... This is just a bad design choice. Doing a number on those guys. Power masters, you know? Mm. I know there's gonna be something. Blood! Why are there fleas? Because people think fleas are a good enemy type. They're wrong. And I think there are just more of them. Yeah, this is a room with infinitely spawning fleas. Oh, come on. You just refilled black hole bomb, dumbass. That's a bad room. That's a. Can this be anyone's favorite? <sighs> you wanna talk enemy spam? Jesus Christ! Oh, you're gonna have multiple. 
Donna's are annoying and they remind me of SpongeBob. You don't think we can make that, do you? No. We need a shield weapon for this room, I swear to god. Okay, just 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 top spin it. Oh god, why that room again? Oh my god. Like I know that a lot of time and effort was put into this stage and in some areas, it's well designed, but... Can you pop the drills by shooting them? Yes, you can, but then you're left with nothing. It was worth a shot. Yeah, but ultimately that first action screwed us over. You need to go- I know you're not blaming me, but it sounds like you are and I don't like it. See you next century! Hmm. Ah yes, the part that always reminded me of Contra. There's actually an entrance in there. Oh, go up. Oh, hey, hey big fish. fish. Now, what can... Ooh, magic card. You've missed it. Oh, wait, can magic card grab items? Not when they're out of range. Damn fish! You're getting into a very bullet happy room. You might want to consider tanking up. That would probably be smart. So, you know what? I, I came all the way here. I'm doing it. Oh, wow. I can suck up cannon shows. I love Black Hole Bomb. Here it is, the core chamber. How did they get this to work? Bad kitty. Gemini laser, there's another shortcut. Wait, oh, oh. Take the ladder down. Oh yeah. Oh, of course there would be a one on in the only safe spot. Rush. I know they call I know they probably want you to use rush coil, but I'm not All about right. that life. You routinely make very poor decisions. And it disappoints me. Made it! Frickin' hell. I like that tunnel, though.
Oh, wait. wait. Eh? What the hell happened there? Is there something? Is there a secret beyond that? I don't know. Wow, what an absolutely fantastic level. Um, no. With a few exceptions, the room with like five cannon Joes, you can tell that tons of love and care was put into this level, and the level itself was extremely creative and unique. I love how you used the barriers as ways to connect the whole maze. There were also some really creative rooms built around manipulating your special weapons, and the black hole bomb was definitely used very well here. And I really liked the whole aspect of the stage where you had to destroy the barriers leading to the exit. That was super neat. Overall, an incredibly fun and creative level. Maybe I'm being too hard on it, but I personally don't like it. Now that was fun! The exploration aspect was actually handled really well, especially with all the permanent shortcuts for backtracking. It was great fun figuring out how to approach each challenge too, and personally, I love the way this stage was designed with copious weapon use in mind. Though I can't say I ever figured out the last room. Yeah. This feels like a wily level from a really, really good Mega Man fan hack. Except for the last room. The last room is kind of garbage. That do that happy Juvio face is cute. <laughs> ah, wow. This level is really brutal. Like, really, really, really brutal. I honestly will admit that my heart sank when I first saw there were four beans in here, and then it just kept going. This is easily the single most brutal level in here, and it's... I really didn't enjoy it. I really, truly didn't. It felt frustrating to get through, like some kind of slog, especially since there was no way to guarantee that you didn't just waste a ton of energy on a dead end. Also took entirely too long to pull off. I agree. It seems you've spent so long thinking about whether you could, you didn't stop to think if you should. Thank you, Mr. Kirim. <laughs> Each screen seemed to completely neglect both what was in the screen before it and what the player was prepared for, and with every death, it seemed I made no progress. Eventually, I just looked at the playthrough you posted on YouTube, and it honestly made me somewhat glad I chose to give up, as I would have only been more disappointed at the boss, so to speak. Alright, what's the trivia for this? Madness. Maze of Death's controversial difficulty comes from the fact that the entry maker didn't know that all entries had to be beaten in order to beat the game. He thought all entries would be optional, so he designed it with skilled players in mind. Also, there was a room with a big fish that was designed to take advantage of a bug in the dev kit that was fixed in the finished game. This bug has been replicated in this version of the level. Oh, yeah, we got that! Huh. Huh. Hi, okay. Rainbow Man. This cave could really use some more saturation. All blue and purple. Where's the love for the other colors? That's actually more of a magenta. Ladies and gentlemen, step right up if you dare face the big drop! Trademarked. Wee! Wee! Gravity Man, you magical, magical robot. I heard that if you hang upside down, the oil rushes to your head and you think better. But I'm not feeling anything. Am I doing something wrong? <laughs> because of course Gravity Man would have some would have a gravity flipper in this part. Oh, do I have to Oh, I have to go all the way. Oof, that was a bad call. This is such a messed up tier. Tier, tier 3, three boss. boss! Do we get Dagger Man again, or is it someone new? Oh, hey! <laughs> Where's the justice? I demand a retrial! Oh, okay. Sorry to disturb. I'll just leave. You there! Vindicate me! All I nicked was a wallet! Is that any reason to kick me out of the lab? Well, yeah, kind of. What do you mean, kind of? Is that some sort of crime? Yes? You aren't the sharpest tool in the shed, are you? Oh no. Sharp. <laughs> Maybe you just need to cut that sort of thing out. Shut up. Hey, I'm just talking to- I'm just taking a quick stab at your situation. Don't you dare! 
<laughs> maybe just take a written maybe just maybe make just make a written apology. That's actually a good idea. The pen is mightier than the sword, after all. <laughs> That's it. I'm making paper dolls out of you. That's the spirit. Oh wait, he's actually mad. <laughs> Love this boss theme. The whole paper dolls out of you thing is a nice reference to the Mega Man Ruby Spears cartoon. Ooh. I do not remember how to fight this guy. I am the spy. Oh, now what? Oh. Oh, that's the- no oh, Whoa! Nothing! Come on! Oh, wow. <laughs> My heart! Thank uh, God! Wow. How many bolts do we have? 544. <laughs> okay, I'm buying some things. <sighs> uh, It'll show up when you break the barrier. Uh, I'll get this for now. Then also the skull amulet. And might as well get that too. You can also buy a couple of E tanks and lives. Yeah, sure. Come back soon. All right. So with that, um, oh, that was nerve wracking. Oh hi. Whenever you use the top spin, you're completely invincible. Bullets go straight through you. The Gemini laser is actually segmented, so on rare occasions it can multi-hit enemies. Rome sells some great costumes! I bought this one last week. <laughs> oh! Hey, Mega! I've begun to take an interest in costumes. I've got three here that you can purchase by pressing up in front of them. You can also purchase the tools to make your own costumes over on the far right. Ah, uh, Proto Man, Base and Roll, nice! Then you can technically probably import costumes from Mag Mammal 2 if you wanted to. Fun fact! In fact, Magic Card can grab items and boomerang them back to you. I do it. Tier, Tier four. 4, levels 8 through 5. Okay, so I think we're gonna leave it here for now. Uh, with that, this is Hatred Elemental and Draco Soda Zero signing out. We hope that you guys enjoyed, and we will see you again next time. Dang, this, lo this episode is long. <laughs> yeah. And remember, nut bunnies. <laughs> Goodbye. Thanks for watching.